What up, everybody? It's your boy CB. Shout out to the whole LDBC. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe at the end of this video. Go subscribe to the Smoke City Mobcast, the Smoke City Mobcast, which comes on tonight on YouTube at 9 o'clock East Coast time, 8 o'clock Central time, 7 o'clock Mountain time, and 6 o'clock West Coast time. Uh, make sure you subscribe to all the LDBC channels, 7 Day Sports TV, Black Fight Fan TV, Blood Boxing Returns, Blood Boxing Ticket TV, you got K-Black Boxing, even guys like Mike Big Boxing, you know, the 1LVZ, Pecklewood Punishment, and just so forth, you know what I'm saying? Just go grab all them channels. Shout out to Boxing Scene for this article I just read, which just got me really upset. Eddie Hearn now says Deontay Wilder has one week to see if he wants to fight. We know Deontay Wilder wants to fight. I'm not going to sit here and get mad about it or nothing like that. But Eddie Hearn, we already know that y'all got a deal in place, in place with Pavekin or Purse Bid. You're trying to really get a deal in place with Pavekin because that's who you want to fight because you think he's a safer, safer option, which he's not. He's safer more compared to Wilder, but he's not the safer option. Furthermore, AJ got to go over there to Russia. And if AJ don't, he'll be giving up that WBA and WBO because the Pavekin is the mandatory for both. So... Deontay Wilder's already said he'll take a 40-60 uh, split in favor of AJ, and he'll go fight in the UK. We could have had this fight done in April, really May, early May. He said he'll do that. When Anthony, Josh, when Anthony Johnson said he has to agree to my terms, Deontay Wilder said, I'll fight in the UK. Deontay Wilder also said, hey, I'll, I'll come over there because he don't have a problem whooping you. But now you want to talk on the media, I'm going to knock around in front of my mom and all my family. Now you're going to get stretched out in front of them, and they're going to be crying. But the whole thing is this, though. We knew this for the whole time. Y'all going through this negotiation, so-called negotiation, the stall tactic. Um, for the simple fact of you don't want to fight Deontay Wilder. Because Eddie Hearn Ben said it. They were trying to get one more fight in. And then they can get Deontay Wilder. They said they can get away with one more fight. Seeing all the interviews and all these old crappy channels, which I no longer will, I would not mention. Nor say by name, because they do not deserve any publicity. Period. But all interviews you give um, Eddie Hearn, we know what it is. You really want Joshua versus Pavekin. And Pavekin going to knock him out, so that's going to tie him up. So I'm going to tell everybody right now, hopefully the fight does happen. It still happens because Deontay Wilder agreed to their terms. It's nothing new. He's been agreed to their terms. So why are we sitting here still tall, st talking and stalling? If AJ turned down a $50 million offer and wants to hear fight in the UK, which he said he would, what's the problem? Eddie Hearn, you're trying to rob them, but guess what? You're going to have to go to a purse gear with Shabransky and that Russian billionaire. That fight going to be in Russia. You're going to have to open up them books and everybody going to see what AJ really making. What's really going on. Because it ain't all what is cracked up, what, what, what you're trying to make it out to be. We know this. This is evident. You've proven our point time and time again. You're a habitual liar and the Joshua's a coward. I just don't really care, man. I just wanted to let that be known, though. This your boy, CB. Shout out to the whole LDBC, and I'm out. Peace out.